Well, there is a fear for some Americans today. It is part of the reason you keep seeing destruction of value in the stock market. That growing fear is the nationalization of banks. But some Americans feel this could be a benefit. To make this all a little easier to understand, we welcome Eric Rice of Dyer Beach to our studio this morning. Eric, thank you so much for being here. Um, before we get into what we saw with Citigroup this past week, can you just describe, can you kind of define what the nationalization of banks means for people out there who are still trying to get a grasp on this subject? Absolutely. Nationalization of banks simply means that uh, the, the government is going to come in and take control somewhat, buy, buy a stake in a bank to take control of it to clean up the system. Okay, and so essentially they own some, the majority, who knows, whatever it is, of that bank. Okay, let's talk about what we saw this past week with Citigroup. What is the reality of the nationalization of banks here in our country? Uh, the reality is right now that the government owns 40% of Citibank. 40%, which is a huge stake. Uh, and they've also made it a very abundantly clear that they want to step themselves up in the ownership value. So instead of having a common stock, which is the lowest form of ownership in a company, they've moved up to a preferred stock. So they own 40% of the preferred ownership in a, in a bank, which essentially means that they have a, a very, very powerful position in, within Citigroup. Okay, so what does this mean for the economy? Because that's, that's probably the number one question for a lot of people right now. How is this going to affect what's going on right now? Well, there's two things that can happen. Number one, uh, it'll affect the economy in a, in a positive way due to the fact that we will have government support for our banking systems which are failing at the current moment. So they'll have the ability to basically go, well, if we need money, we can draw on it any time we need it in order to increase the lending that's out there. Now, the bad part of this whole thing is the fact that we're losing control of our own banking system, which is a really, really big issue. Although it's happened twice in America, it happened in the 60s with Amtrak and the railroad systems, and then it also happened in the in, uh, 80s with the SNL scandals. So it, do it does work over a period of time, but the problem is that I see is right now the taxpayers are paying money to the government, the government's giving money that the taxpayers pay to the banks in order to increase lending. However, what we're doing is paying the same banks that are foreclosing on our own citizens. So it's kind of like just a big circle it's going around, right? a big around, circle, right? yes. Okay, so let's, let's kind of break down what this means to the taxpayer. If I'm at home right now and I'm listening to you talk, you know, I'm going, okay, well, how much, of, you know, how much is going to come out of my pocket and where is it going? I know you said it's kind of like a circular motion, but can you break it down a little bit more specifically? Sure. Uh, directly for the banks, it means about a half of a trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. um, a half a trillion dollars is going into the banking system from taxpayers' pockets to clean up the banking system. So for the day-to-day -day person worrying about their checking, and savings account, there's really not a huge issue. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a whole lot to worry about when it comes to where's my money going, is it still secure, is it still safe? It definitely is. Mm -hmm. But there is a big problem with the ripple effect and what can happen in the future if nationalization is not exited properly, we could end up in a more of a socialist society kind of like Canada mm -hmm. um, or Switzerland had the same problem. It's worked out well in history, but there is a big problem with the exit strategy. We had a story earlier in our newscast that talked about um, exiting you know, this form mm -hmm. of control. Uh, what would you say would be the reality of getting out of this type of situation right now and is is that foreseeable in the long-term future absolutely it's a seven to ten year plan generally with nationalization they, they, they look at a 15-year uh, plan to begin with but generally seven to ten years historically has been what nationalization has, has occurred that's the time frame so if we look at seven to ten years out it's really in the grand scheme of things not that long ago uh, it could be 2002 if you thought of seven years ago mm -hmm. not that long ago uh, but the reality is that Lending will increase, number one, which is a, a good thing for the general public. However, the, the money that's being uh, dispersed is going directly to banks who are literally not forced mm -hmm. to help out homeowners right now. They're not forced to. It's a suggestion. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that our, our government's monitoring that and creating accountability for those dollars. All right. Lots of good insight. Thank you so much, Eric, you, for Brandon. being here. Of course, for more information on this topic, just go to our website, sandiego6.com, and click on Hot Topics.